Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, yeah, I wanted to stream like earlier, but like things just were not gonna work for me. Uh, one of the main reasons why I didn't start streaming sooner was um, uh, audio troubleshooting, basically, because um, I was talking about it last stream, but one of my earphones had basically shit the bed, and I I needed to replace it somehow. For, um, so that way I could, you know, stream comfortably, uh, just have some nice headphones to you know use either for work or just, you know jogging, whatever have you. Um, so. Uh, I, I'm going to show you these. So, uh, so today I went up to uh, Myers um, probably a couple hours ago to get some headphones because I needed some Bluetooth headphones. These are the only ones that I have at the moment that actually work. And these these things are they're heavy. They're big ass uh, audio canceling headphones. I use I use these for like land um, yard work, um, trimming, mowing, any of that stuff. So they're they're heavy. They're big. I don't really like wearing them to stream. I needed something lighter. So when I had them, I had these like blue, like cyan blue, uh, cyan blue uh, skull candies, and they were nice and light, little wired um, Bluetooth uh, earbuds, and they worked for about a year and a half. And I was like, you know what? These were a damn good purchase. They died. I need to buy more. Uh, so I went up to Meyer uh, to to buy more and. They didn't have any as far as I saw. I, didn't, I, I couldn't find any. But I found this, and I wanted to take a gamble. Be like, hey, you know what? I see these things. I see people wear these kind of uh, just like perfectly wireless headphones that you put in like these little charger ports. I'm skeptical about them because I would lose these. I, I, I fear I'd lose this shit in an instant. Um... That's one of my main fears. I don't feel they would fit perfectly good in my ear uh, to use. And uh, as a litany of other things, that, that was the main reason why I didn't really want to buy one of these. But these were like the only thing that I could find. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take a gamble. These things that I bought, um, complete pieces of shit. Um, maybe it's just like a bad batch that I got, but... Um, Immediately, well, first I had to charge them. They, they don't come charged, to be expected, right? So you charge them, uh, you plug them into like a little uh, USB-C type charger, and um, a couple hours later, you hook them up to USB, and uh, you know, they're hooked up. The first fucking complaint about these things I have, this, these iHome, I, sorry, the lighting is shit, but... Um, the first complaint that I have about these headphones are is the controls are shit. So, the way they work, I don't know if you can see these, but you they're they're touch they're touch activated. So you can see by the instructions. Um, you have to hold it up to here. Basically, what you do is you tap these head these little buttons, and they would do different things. Like if you tap it and hold it, it does one thing. You double tap, does something else. Just trying to stick these fucking things in your ear, you have to touch them. So as you're trying to put them in, you're fucking doing all kinds of shit on your phone. You're changing the volume and, like, stopping your music or whatever. And look, I didn't even fucking do anything, and they're glowing. So they're not, like, touch-touch sensitive. They, they're, like, they're, like, little buttons. So if I can, like, just tap this, I might be able to... No. Sometimes it doesn't want to work. But anyway, so that was my first complaint. The second complaint is I think this thing was going to fucking explode in my ear. So after I got done charging them, I was like, all right, let's see if these work. I, I pull them up. I don't know how to turn them on or off. All I know is you like pop them out of the charging port and then they started glowing, which, okay, that's doing something. So I, I, I connected it. it. It connected to the, US, the, the Bluetooth. And I put them in, and I just hear this in my right ear, just like crackling noise, just like a, a like a high pitched whining, like tinnitus esque sound coming out of this one, as there's like nothing playing, and I was like, what the fuck? I I I, I, tar I took them out, I turned them off, um, okay, 
like just like sort of popping them back into the charger. I don't know how to turn them off. It doesn't tell you. So I would either just like hold down on the thing for like a couple of minutes or uh, no, seconds or just just tap on them to, to see if it would do anything other than blink at me. And it, it, it did the whining stop for like once and I went up to go get a drink and it, it, it came back again. And then I started to notice they were really fucking warm. I don't know why, but they were they had started to heat up. Which is a bad fucking sign for any amount of electronics. Like just if you're using it and it starts to get hot, especially something like this small that's in your fucking ear. The last thing I want to do is just you're like I'm sitting doing a scene and all you see just like a white pop out of my ear and I just start bleeding. So 40 fucking dollars plus tax on these fucking things. Complete pieces of shit. These things are getting returned. Well, I'd have to return them probably sometime Friday. Because there's no... I, I, I doubt Myers is open on a, on a Thanksgiving. So I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow, like Friday. Ugh. But aside from this... This fucking iHome headphone rant. Fucking bullshit. Um, I got a bit of driving done today. I'm trying to get my license. I haven't actually gotten around to doing that yet, but I've been... I've been, like, the past several days, I've just been spending time driving, and... Um, I actually got some stuff at thrift stores recently. I bought some sweater vests. Something nice for the winter. Alright, so... Getting out of the ranting bullshit, uh, what I am willing to do today, um, I am willing to, I'm going to be working on this challenge. This person kind of messaged me on Discord, and they, in a way, commissioned me, and also in a way, kind of challenged me to kind of work on a thing that they took interest in. I'm going to... Oh, that's cool. You got yours this year? Got what this year? You get headphones? That's what I was bitching about just a second ago. All right. Oh, the license. Ah, nice. Congratulations. You know, I think it would be easier just to kind of get the uh, YouTube video of it. So this person... Ah! So this person effectively uh, commissioned me, and what he wanted... I'm not going to have my display on for this. Where is that? Let's turn it off. There we go. So uh, he commissioned me because he wanted me to kind of make a facial rig that's based on these kind of characters. They wanted to do, like, um, a skeleton but they wanted to do the sort of cartoony nature of it with uh, squashing and stretching. And, um, like, oh, hold on. It was that face right there. That kind of sunk that. He wanted me to be able to sort of make a head like this, but also have the uh, versatility to kind of do that. So these kinds of faces right there. I can't actually see my cursor because I have it turned off but um yeah that's what he wanted me to do I'm not going to show his name on the t stream because I that dosing don't want that but this is something that I've been thinking about for like a hot minute since he messaged me and I wanted to actually try my hand at it so um we're gonna unpause this there was one image that that one that was a good one that um uh, Oh, excuse me. Kind of showed the profile of the skull. I'm probably going to use that as a reference. And maybe some of these other side images here to kind of show off. But yeah, the eye sockets are really fucking big. And I'm also probably going to use some anatomy. Um, to actually help inform me what I'm going to be doing here. There we go. Let me go back and play some of this music again. There we go. So, 
we're going to be using this a little bit to kind of help inform our anatomy or reference and whatnot. And then aside from that, we can go from there. I'll explain a bit of what I was thinking in terms of how to make this work. So he wanted me to keep it in the, the lower poly style, so that's going to be nothing new. Uh, let me... You know what? Let me take these and save these. Um, we're going to... That's from, that's another commission that's not important. You should see that. Um, we're going to go here. All right. Um, let's go 3D projects. Actually, I probably shouldn't open that. Let's just go into models. We'll call this, um, let's see here. What we would, uh, there we go. This is basically what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to do a low poly face rake for a creature like this. Um, let's save it as image, whatever. Go just save a couple of these. Oopsies. Okay, so a lot of okay, so a lot of what is being shown here from here, what they're capturing, they're capturing the sort of brow and the cheek segment of the, the skull. That's what's being emphasized there to really show that it's a skull. And then the bony nature of the uh, jaw there. Yeah. So that's really what we gotta capture. Also, the fragmented teeth. Missing teeth and whatnot. And the hole in where the nose would go. You can see where it's just kind of pinching right there. Okay. Yeah. Pardon me. Uh, you know, I don't have my... I, don't, I realize I don't have my Twitch um, uh, dashboard up. I should probably go do that. Just so I can have a little bit more administrative control in case someone comes in and starts to do some bad shit. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Let's put that over there. Okay. Okay, so we got all this. We can just go out of this. And I'm going to now load in those uh, references so I just have them to look at. Just gonna throw them in over here. I just need them on the same screen so it's easy on me. That's good. Yeah. There we go. That's probably better. Oopsies. There we go. There we go. And then. I don't put this one there. There we go. Okay, so the first thing that I want to start off with is like the area around the nose and ah, I'm gonna start off in like this section, like the front part of the face. So we're gonna start off with that. And the best way I think we're gonna do that. I wanna just delete all this area. There we go. So this is like the first part of the face. Oop. All right, uh, we're gonna probably need uh, Let's see here. Get that out of here. 
Um, yeah, my curiosity got the best of me with that hashtag. Let's see here. What was it? Oh, yeah. It's, it's skull reference. Where's a good one? Could probably be closer. What the hell's up with his teeth? Hold on. Jesus. This one's probably good. Yeah, that's a bit too much information. Yeah, I'd probably do. Save this. Here we go. Throw that in there. Oh, I'm in edit mode. Hold on. Get out of that. Here we go. So with the skull, where the nose would go, but that's another job. Okay, that's going to be the lower part of the jaw. bring that in now kind of what I'm trying to do generally the, the the face that I'm going to have constructed is going to look mostly like this where there's kind of a gap right in here but there's also these kind of peaks in between here so that way when you want you can have the face kind of connected like that but also they can also be disconnected when they Basically, you kind of use uh, shape keys to kind of push those vertices or edges in together, effectively.
can't do that without uh, turning this off real quick. Yep, turn that back on. Probably split that. Push the brown too far in. coming together for me in my head. I feel bad that I'm not really able to talk right now. I'm just kind of um, posting, just kind of keeping all to myself, just sort of what's going on. I'm just kind of really just wanting to enjoy what's it now? Just kind of working. Oh, sweet Christ. There we go. I just want to enjoy working on some 3D modeling for a little bit. Smooth this out a little bit. Now, basically, this whole area would be dark in the skull when I'm texturing this, anyway. Try to maybe make communicate that a bit better. Oh, it's called um, color attributes, ain't it now? Um, let's see here. How do you do that again? Here? Shift keys for fix. Color attributes. Uh, I believe it's face corner is what I need it. Pop that in there. There. That's a bit easier to work with.
I might want to kind of get a all right. So then we can take this edge, pull it out to there, pull that out to there. There we go. So a little bit more stuff to work with. scroll that far in. Probably not gonna be what I need for a minute, but hey, how you doing, Sliffy boy? I'm a little bit tired to be talking, but we're gonna be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best. Whoa. So, in summary, basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to sort of. Well, I I was challenged as a um. As a as as a sort of commission, someone wanted me to kind of recreate a sort of face rig that kind of resembled the kind of cartooniness that these are from an anime. I don't remember what it was called, but they wanted me to be able to sort of do this kind of, damn, this kind of facial expression. Here's some reference from me. How am I gonna? I'm gonna. I fucked up my topology all up. Hold on. Let's try that again. At three seconds, at ah, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, basically, I'm trying to make a facial rig that's able to be as versatile with this kind of expression. Basically, kind of like a Sonic the Hedgehog type uh, facial rig, where he has eyes that are separate, but I can also kind of merge them back together. Basically, kind of just like bringing these points together a little bit. Probably gonna be a little bit more intricate than that, but you know. It's very Sonic-esque, I think. So we're gonna try to make that work. However,
this is a ch an, a challenge to myself, so we're gonna try to make it work. Maybe. What's this gonna be used in? Um. Uh, the person kind of just wanted to have it as sort of a recreational kind of thing, like just for funsy little animation. So I'm gonna take that to mean that it's largely just for. Um, I don't know. I imagine they're just going to kind of show it off or whatever. Not sure. What the hell? Oh, ah, for Christ's sake. There we go. Whoa. That needs to go that way. So the idea would be that I could maybe pinch those points together and they're kind of, you know, they're kind of connected in that way, at least visually, but in every other way, they're kind of like that. Not a fantastic example. And Ah, trying to navigate and blenders ripping me everywhere. I'm getting jerked everywhere but off, man. There we go. Yeah, they're really trying to draw emphasis to the brow and the cheek structure going on there. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. 
He-Man? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Something I really need to do is really study my human anatomy because this would help a lot and I have been very fucking rusty in terms of actually working on humanoid facial features. some skulls some more. How's things in your new place? It's all settled in? Um, it's largely settled in in terms of um, furniture. Like, the living room's all in place. Uh, I still need... I, I haven't touched the acoustic tiling uh, since the last time I streamed. Um, that's been a problem. I've neglected to touch. Um, what else? There are areas I need to paint. I haven't done that because I don't feel like it anymore. Um, uh, I need to get carpet in the basement. It's like a half basement. It isn't like fully underground. But it, I, I still want carpet down there because that's kind of what was always down there beforehand. Um, I... Uh, here. But by and large, a lot of it is in place. I can comfortably stream, that's nice. But um, I feel that maybe I've got I've been getting a bit lazy with um, I don't know, doing certain things that I sh probably should be doing. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, we're starting to get to a decent place with that. Um, the draw is very square. There we go, it should probably work. Are you making the whole body or just the head here? I'm largely just making the head because I they wanted me to make facial rig. That's what I that's what they won to to see if it could be done. Uh so that's that's what I'm trying to do. Um We're gonna see. Kind of where that part of the head stops, I suppose.
Ja. Give these boys some thickness here. Okay, so, I mean, technically what would, and this here is a black void, but in technicality, like the underside of the jaw is just like a horseshoe. So that would be a blank void I mean, that, that you should be able to see like through into his ribs where his head's positioned right there. So, um, yeah, we'll just keep it as is. It's coming a lot along a lot better than how I was a while ago. I was kind of floundering, but uh, going a lot better now. That's that's for sure. Okay, let's take these, bring these up, and then uh. Oh, you know what? There we go. That's where it should be. Bony boy there. Oh, mate, you're just like crackled. Ugh. I did not appreciate that, no sir. Go. So what? Put that back that way. We're gonna need to bring that that way. This needs to come that way. There we go. I, can, I think I can hide everything else for right now. Okay, this needs to come up a little bit right there.
not the temple. It kind of does that. So that'd be, ooh. Go there. Damn it, come here. Give me that. Oh, hold on. I need to turn on merge by distance. There we go. That's better. I remember when you first saw my content, you said you wanted to make content in that style. Do you have any plans? Um, I did have plans for a, for a good bit. There was a game that I wanted to do that I wanted to talk about that I never got around to actually doing because I had to record. I had to record a... Uh, this, this long ass game. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to get sniped. But um, it would have required me to play through it the entire way through without a guide and then playing through it the entire way with, with a guide because the way the game is styled. Like the game itself, based on what I saw, requires, like if you want to beat the game and get the good ending, you have to have a guide. Oh, I was talking about um, uh, this guy, Slippy, here. Uh, he makes really, really good YouTube content. Love his stuff. Fantastic animation and editing. He's supreme. Um, but I was talking how I wanted to... Uh, how I wanted to do... Uh, uh, Slippy with a Y. He's an he's a animator and whatnot. But uh, he, did, he does all these uh, video game reviews, and they're really, really good. But... I wanted to do my own style. I wanted to review this game. And um, the problem was, is that um, the problem is, is I needed to record a fuckload of footage and I was not committed to doing it because the game is re really fucking big. Uh, I didn't want to talk about the game because it, well, I guess it doesn't really matter because it's all about my, about my expression about the game and less about the game itself. It's called, it, it was Mizerna Falls. I wanted to talk about Mizerna Falls because I, I have some opinions on it. Okay, you know what, let's set this. How do I do that? Set position based maps normals, yeah, auto smooth. There we go.
Yeah, but I wanted to really go through the entire game of Mazurna Falls to really take it in, understand the story and precisely what was going on. Um, I mean, if I needed other footage from other people, I, I would ask for it. But the point of it was to play through it, get my like genuine reaction to how I felt about the game, and then just be like, um, you know... Two flat, I don't know. You know, I think I, th I think we're pretty good there. I could probably hit it with like a smooth brush. Um. Probably just like a really light one. Uh, that's still. There we go. There we go. What's this for? Uh, it was basically just like a challenge. Someone like, hey, I bet. What? How would it? What would it take to make uh a, like a facial rig for in this style? Um. Basically, they wanted me to recreate the the. The, the versatility of this uh, anime. They wanted me to, you know, do this. And my idea was uh, what I would do is I would, when I wanted to, woo. Uh, hmm. I think it's more in line with what it's like, really. Bring this brow out a little bit more. Really try to make this brow stick out. I'd love to see you follow through with that someday. I mean, maybe, but I don't really want to compromise on the idea that I had. Kind of my problem. That's not there we go. What the hell am I doing? What? 
Good to see you, Sickly. You're one of my favorite three demodelers. Oh, well, how, how did that quote from the room went? I forget. Hello, Tommy. You're our favorite customer. Oh, thank you, Mark. Oh, goodbye. Ah, ha, ha. Whatever the... F I don't know. Something dumb. Goodbye. That, I think that does help. That does help kind of bring the brow out. Makes that a little bit more obvious that that's what's going on. Let me pull that point out. There you go. That's a little bit more rounded. There's like a little bump right in there. I'm not quite hitting. I like when he said, hi, doggy. <laughs> oh, hi, doggy. Okay, let's get back into this view, and now I need to work on solidifying the underside of the jaw, well, the underside of the head. Um, how do I do that, I think? Pull that out that way, we're going to stick that, oh, stick that there. Mark that sharp there. I never actually seen the room now that I think about it. Could probably remedy that sometime in the future. There we go. There we go. That's all sorted. And then we just take this part of the jaw. Oh, hmm. There we go.
jaw doesn't have anything going for it. We're going to need to set that smooth, turn that off. All right. Make it even. That. Okay, do that ring, and then these, and then vertex paint. We're gonna fill that. And then from this angle, we can pull that up like that, make that a little bit softer. I think that there is pretty good. What I'm going to want to do... headphones are getting uncomfortable. I'm wearing those big ass um, mixing headphones that I normally wear. I showed them off in the beginning of the stream because I like to complain about them, but you know, things happen. Leave it like that. I at least got the skull made, which is pretty good.
kind of just sort of nitpicking with it at the moment. Okay, I think we're going to probably be good with that. Gonna play nice. Yeah, you should have seen it like, um, what, about an hour? You should have seen it about like. 45 minutes ago, it was not looking the best. But that's just kind of how things are. Alright. Let's make a plane. Make it smaller. Set it to be aligned with the view. Oh, no. Imagine what I would want to do. Um, all right, the origins, the three D cursor. So this, sh these should. Where is the origin for this? Can't see it. Origins, there it is. Okay, I, I just gotta stop fucking with it. I'll back something up. Okay, let's put a camera here. Pop that right there. Um, if I can make this, um, if I could, what? Uh oh, that's why I can't find it. Okay. What the hell? Uh. Yeah, get, can I get rid of that? Thank you. This needs to be a wider angle lens. There we go. Now. Probably pick like a cream color for this. Something like that. Anything that will be the inside of the mouth needs to be uh, turned black. There we go. Uh, that, that could work. I should probably. Ooh, I should save this. Uh, that's not it. Uh. Uh, 
we go. I'll probably just go with it. That ought to do. Uh, do now one of the things that is important is that the actual eyes have a constraint so the eyes oh actually let me, let me go back and do the thing I originally set out to do which was to take all these areas and then invert the selection so I can actually set the color to something a little bit more appropriate, which is a cream color. Okay. A little bit more of a cream color anyway. That's about the color, right? These were set to cons should be set to constrain. Um, control Shift C. Uh, I can't do that from here. There we go. No. Nice. Damn it. I hit the wrong thing. It, ah! I did it again. I did it twice! There we go. Uh, there we go. I set the. Having a lack of shading isn't particularly fantastic. Probably have had more of a pebble to the top of it like that. At least I think it should anyway. Q. 
Okay. You know what? Fuse shader, just slap that in there. Okay, the back is gonna need fixed. Go. The skull's a lot better. I think now I can actually fucking do the thing they originally set out to do to begin with because I'm so fucking easily distracted. Set this to track. What's it now? How do I do that? Track two. Set that to the camera. Would be the Y axis. Yeah, that's what we would want. Uh, all right, copy. Go. So now. Yeah. Well, well, that didn't help. We can see that the eyes are now more of a more follow the head a little bit better. Maybe clear those a sharp and mark. Oop, nope. Mark that sharp like that. Because that's more accurate. Even then. Follow even more. Yeah, check that shit out. Them from whatever angle it's being looked at. You wanna Probably be more along the lines of what's needed. Let's remove these sharps there and there.
I'm being raided. Ah. Hello, everyone. I wasn't expecting to be raided. Uh, well. <laughs> well, at the moment, I'm currently working on a low poly skull. Uh, I was in the middle of trying to figure out a rig that someone had basically challenged me to. Hey, Microtonal Matt, how's it going? It's uh, it's going pretty decently, I would say. Um, I am pretty good. How are you doing? I haven't I haven't seen you in a while. Excuse me. I think I might be able to get away with making these maybe bluish. No, no. I'll be good here. Ah. Full color. Takes a pain, get that. Yeah, I think the main the main issue that I'm having right now, and the reason why I'm not seeing the skullness of it, is the fact that I don't have the the hole for his nose. Alright, like right here where his nose is supposed to be, I don't have it there. And I'm gonna have to do that with um texture. That's just where it's going to come from, because I don't want to just, like, model it in there. It doesn't need to be. Because I mean, it, it would be too hard to do. I, I would just take this area. Oh, God. Uh, maybe it's a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, but no. Uh, I would basically just take this, have inserted it, and then that's where it would have gone, but no. We're gonna, we're gonna do this with texture, because it'll be marginally easier take that mark that as a seam okay hide everything okay So to get this mapped out, let's go to the UV editor. That's where it's gonna need to be. Uh, yeah. uh, what it was is this was a, um, it was a challenge effectively. Someone was curious to see if something could be done. Like, uh, they wanted to make a facial rig that was, um, um, what was it now? Uh, versatile enough to kind of have both this and this. Oh, I just realized, why the fuck is, hold on, I gotta edit, capture, cur capture cursor is turned on, why? Why can I not see my cursor? That's weird. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to be able to see my cursor on the screen, but you cannot. Uh, I wanted to be able to do both this and that. Whereas you can see here, there is a distinct gap in the brow right there. Whereas here, it's all kind of connected. And the trick between that for me was uh, this this area right here, where we could just kind of whoop, pull that down. And there, it is kind of connected, but at the same time, you know. So I think with the mirror modifier, I'm going to need to bevel these edges. That would Matter of fact, I think at some point or another, let's save. Um, do that. And then we would just apply that. And these edges, I just want to bevel. 
Oh god. Yeah, it basically Sonic eyeballs exactly. Could just sort of move these areas into place like that. Like that. There'll be some some of that ability to do that, but other than that, yeah. I think we're gonna keep it as it is right there because it's kind of, that's basically what I wanted it to do. Now we'll be done with like some blend shapes or whatever. All right, now I gotta get around to you be mapping this because that's the plan. Um, probably gonna. Bring it all the way down to here. Hold on, that didn't... Well, I didn't want it to go along the bottom like that. that all right since i beveled it it removed the uh seam and we want to be able to do stretching I bummed the rest of the stream. Yeah. Have fun crashing, yeah. I'm going to have to do the entire underside of this.
I think that'll be fine. Doing it like that. Okay, get this. Okay, average the size and then pack them. So distance. Um, Yeah. Wow, I have the app. That's good. How long ago is it streaming? That's like one. Okay, it's one thirty-nine. Streaming. All right, I'm close to two hours. I'll probably go another 20 minutes and then I'll probably get off. I think that's probably good. Okay, we'll call this uh, skull. But these, we're gonna make a new one. This is just gonna be eyes yep there we go okay, all of these can be moved into a new collection called um References. I guess move them into that, and then just completely hide that layer. Let's make that like red or something like that. Yeah, new image texture. Um, let's do 128, something pixely. I think that'll do. Set that to closest. Set this to cycles. Okay, all I would need it would be bake from the use and all I want is the color so if we do that yeah that's what I'm looking for I grab been great back I got a post stream munchies strongly today I see all right so this would be tex I'll probably grab some snacks myself at some point or another. There we go. Select this, go into set that to flat. Go. Oh, 
Oops. Texture paying. There we go. Whoop, don't do that. Oh, I bet it's not working. It's not working because I don't have it plugged into the texture yet, is it? Also, probably not taking effect because it's not saved. There we go. And it's stuck in Eevee. So if I... Let's see that. It's a bit weird working on it like that because... Um, what's it now? The, the, the face is really sharp, but not the... Uh, uh, I think I'm going to get over that. I'm just going to... Take all this. I just clear those seams. Take this. Up. Just take it. Lock it in place. Take this. Clear the seams. There we go. I feel that's a lot better in terms of style, anyway. I probably need to go into like, painting some extra details, but other than that, it's not too bad. I think this is a pretty decent headway into that, anyway. This back could probably be... softened, maybe.
It is indeed 1 a.m. Well, for you it's 1 a.m. It's 1.40 for me. But in terms of progress, this is pretty good. <sighs> yep. Let's see. Oh, that's not it. Oh no. Now for them. For a large part, it could just be kept like that. Um, probably need some blunt shapes in there. Like from a side view, that's probably a pretty good angle. Should be an ability. Let's... What is that one? That is definitely connected. Depending on how we want to move, have the capacity to handle the face how we want. That. Now you can still see this little area right in here, but that's largely due to the fact that we got the diffuse shading. So if we kind of just uh, plug it in directly. You can see that kind of shading goes away, at least to a degree. So, we don't necessarily need a shader at all, as that would kind of show those kind of problems happening. We're going to take advantage of the fact that it doesn't have shade or any kind of actual shading. So that way we could be like, ah, look, the bridge is now connected or whatever. Or say we're viewing it, like, see, we can see from this angle. Or if we want, we can instead use this. Perhaps, uh... Perhaps that would be a better viewing angle for, oh, better for the viewing angle. And then that for connected angle. Then comes the task of actually making the rigged part of it. Um, hold on, it's still stuck in cycles. Get the fuck out of here. Get there we go, set that back to EV. Of course, we don't even have teeth. We probably want to remedy that at some point or another, but as of right now, that's not going to be the case.
Okay. Uh, well, I think for right now, I'm probably gonna go grab some snacks and like crash or something. I think that sounds pretty good right about now. Pull that back up. All right. Yes. It was kind of. I was I was feeling a little bit skittish at first to uh, get this correct. I, I felt a little bit um, rusty, I suppose. Getting started, I kind of was like, uh, I don't know if this is going to turn out too good, but it turned out pretty good. Hey, Mike. Hey, Microfrog. Mike, Mike, Mike Frog. It's, yeah. It's took me a, a, a hot second to get it, this look, get it looking this good, but I could probably... I might be able to continue it tomorrow. Also, I'm not really surprised not many people showed up. It's like fucking Thanksgiving Eve. I mean, technically it is Thanksgiving because it's like 2 in the morning. But, you know, people are fucking busy. And I'm not, so I just kind of... I'll, tr I'll try to stream tomorrow. That's, that's how I'll be. But, yeah... Well, with that being said, I'm going to disappear. Uh, I'll probably paint this a little bit later tomorrow. Uh, let me make sure I save that image texture and save this file. There we go. And I will go now. I will put this up on the YouTube later. And, uh, yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Actors, prop, maybe probably find someone to raid. I don't know. Would there be anyone to worth? Is there anyone I can raid? Who is this person? I'm not entirely sure who that is. They're not streaming art, so I don't really. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna raid them. Unfortunately. I, I don't. I should follow probably more art art streamers, but. Take that as it is. I'm going to go now. Goodbye.